Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, do you know what radon gas is and how it gets into people's homes and how it can cause things like lung cancer and other side effects? Well, let's talk about how you can measure it yourself at home, not just one time or two or three times, but this is actually a continuous way to measure it every 10 minutes and it can do it for weeks, months, and years actually to uh, keep tabs on it. It's really something that a lot of people should have. Me personally right now, I'm in my basement of my house and this is where I work uh, really two jobs um, down here. And so I spend a lot of time in the basement and the basements are typically the worst place for radon gas to build up. And if you look at the stats, you know, it is pretty surprising. There's roughly about 20,000 people a year in the U.S. that are estimated to die from lung cancer that was caused, at least in part, by radon gas exposure uh, at home or at work or wherever. So this is something that I really put on my radar once I uh, moved my office down from upstairs to the basement. I always knew it was kind of a concern when we had this house, um, or we had this house tested when we, when we purchased it about five years ago, and it tested high. So the EPA recommends uh, you do some mitigation Anytime the radon level is higher than four picocuries per liter, that's a measure of radiation in the air. Ours was at 5.8. So it wasn't crazy high, um, but certainly over the action level. So we put in a radon mitigation system, which is basically just a fan that's outside, and there's a big PVC pipe that gets routed inside, and they put it on the sump pump hole, and they seal it up with plexiglass and caulk, and it's sucking air all from underneath the slab and pumping it out. Uh, to outside so that it doesn't build up inside and really that is the um, the name of the game is just trying to mitigate it and keep it out and that's how um, the, the typical way to um, reduce exposure to it all right but even so I like the peace of mind of being able to track it and log it continuously and you know this one I purchased on my own um, by doing research I really do like it I've had it for about six months I'll show you the app real fast, but if you want to see real details, go to the uh, other video that I have out for that one. So this is the EcoCube app, and this one is um, Wi-Fi connected, and it has this app that you can play with. And you can see here, this is uh, today, this graph is, and you can see I'm averaging about 1.4. Right now, it just measured 1.2, but I can keep zooming out here to the week. And I can see, um, you know, some fluctuations there for all the way from above two down to a half pico curry per liter. I can zoom out to a month and kind of see how it goes. It looks fairly flat there. And then I can further zoom out to a year. Now, again, I only have about six months of data, not a full year yet. But you'll see here that it started out kind of lower and then it kind of um, came up. And it looks like it's fairly stable between one and one and a half, but well below the 2.7 where they say no issues at all are the 4.0 pico curry per liter of a threshold that they say you really should do some type of mitigation. So I won't go any more details on this specific one um, other than to say, hey, you know, I like it and I do enjoy it. And I actually bought it because of the app and interface. But EcoSense, the company that makes this product, actually saw my video on YouTube and they really liked it. And they said, hey, we want to send you this newer one which is the Eco Blue device, and it answers some of the um, customers that wanted something that was even more simple than this and did not uh, need a, an app to view stuff. You know, they wanted a screen. So this one has a screen on it and is basically a plug-and-play device with no other, other setup. They actually make another one, or at least they used to, that is Bluetooth-based instead of Wi-Fi-based. But so this guy, let's open it up. Let's test it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it head to head with this guy. I'll have them both running. And um, we'll just kind of compare measurements and see how they do. And I'll let this run for several weeks here or at least um, a week uh, here so I can give you uh, some examples of how this works and how it compares to this other one. So let's open it up and just see what's in there. All right, so it has an easy little clip-on stand there. It's got a protective thing. We'll take that off. And then it just has a little simple USB uh, cord here. looks like it is a USB-C port. And it looks like it has 
we'll call that probably about five feet of length there for the uh, cord with a simple little you know um, 110 AC adapter for the power here and now on the back side of it it looks like it has a uh, two buttons one says M and one says S and um, then it has that screen so let's just plug it in and see what it does all right there we go all right so this one really they, they claim um, it basically it's the same accuracy as the uh, eco cube one and it does it looks like the same measurement um, every 10 minutes and then it has a moving average every hour that's like the the most um, precise that it gets and so therefore after I plug it in I have to wait about 10 minutes for it to do its first update and then this one has a couple modes here if you press these back buttons you can change it from um, showing kind of the real-time monitoring mode um, to instead doing a um, daily mode so 24-hour window and then a weekly window and then a monthly window and then a long term so that will show you um, how the radon level is over a, a much longer period of time instead of always showing you like hey what it was the past hour it will say what was the past day or the past week past month or uh, long term window so you can also change some of the measurement units you can dim the lighting screen here you can also set a alarm um, set, uh, set up an alarm as well as an alarm threshold of how high of a pico curry per liter you want to have the alarm to kick on and that can be anywhere from two pico curries per liter to five those are the the range that i let you do otherwise it's pretty simple um, you saw basically the setup and, uh, procedure is just to plug it in to the wall and then the rest is um, kind of optional for if you wanted to change some of those displays there but let's let it run here for uh, several days and then we can play with the uh, results and see how they compare all right so now I've had this device running side by side with this one for six days so not quite a week now and I want to compare how accurate or at least how relative they are to each other you know their accuracy is stated uh, about plus minus 14 percent from the manufacturer and that's the same so they're both the same level of accuracy and obviously 14 percent is some deviation so i would expect them not to be perfect but this one you can see it shows at 1.62 and this r value means real time so that's you know showing you what the last recording was they've done this other one that i have you know these are both eco sense this one's the um eco cube and this one's the eco blue and so this one in the app, if I look at it right now, for its real time, it's at 1.5. So a little bit lower than the 1.62. And I've been mon monitoring these to see how they compare. This one has been a little bit higher every time relative to this one. Um, if I go out a little further to a week, then this one shows a 1.5 as well. Um, just coincidence it does vary a lot you know sometimes I'll have um, less than one it'll be like 0.7 other times it's up at like two um, it really does vary it swings up and down all the time but this one if I press the M button on the back here I can switch through and see that for the day it's at 1.59 and in fact back here if I look at the day this one has the, the 1.5 as well and then if I keep going, I press it again, it has a W, which is for a week. And that first reading happens after seven days. And again, I'm at six days, so I don't have a reading there yet. And that's the same story for the M, which is for a month of data. And I click it again, now I have an L, which is uh, long term. So this long term is 1.54. And if you hit M again, it will tell you how many days that... Uh, long-term reading has been since it was reset so this one tells me six days so if I go in here and I look at that week one and I look at the average being 1.5 this one was um, just slightly above that let's go back to it here yeah 1.54 so over the course of a week these guys are very close you know um, from this one week testing it they're 0 .04 uh, off and that could just be a significant digits um, factor here with this one only doing um, that one um, after the decimal place. So 
Um, overall, they look like they're very comparable. And, you know, I will say this guy is very, very simple. I literally, you plug it in, and the most you have to do to it, really, I would say, is hit the M button back there. And that's just a toggle between the, um, the different um, recording intervals. Uh, one thing to note is if you unplug the device or you lose power, then the real time, the daily, the weekly, and monthly, those all get reset. So they'll start fresh. If I were to unplug this and move it, I would no longer have a reading uh, on the real time until I waited 10 minutes. I wouldn't have a day until I waited 24 hours and such and such. So the long term one, though, stays in memory indefinitely until you reset it manually yourself. So that's why it's nice that it shows you a day's since last reset for the long term one is for that reason so you can get a an idea on there so i like it you know to be 100 percent honest with you you know my favorite would be to have this style but also have the ability to have an app so you can look at it um that's just you know i really like this one because i had the app and i like to see the data um, graph and it's nice to be able to kind of look at how it varies over time and to understand it and my, me personally i like to like uh try to associate any kind of trends is it because i have everything closed up i you know does it go down if i open up the windows is it worse in you know, winter with heat versus ac that kind of stuff this one you can still get that idea uh, but obviously you have to look at it but i will say that it is also nice because it's very quick if i just want to glance over the numbers right there on the screen whereas this one um you know is a little bit annoying that i have to open the app uh, even if i want to do just a quick glance so they're definitely different this one is certainly easier it's a plug and play solution and that might be what you want if you like the more nitty-gritty technical details and really want the data on this one i think you can even export the data um then this eco cube is the better one for that now they do also have another one or they used to at least i'll i'll double check if it's still out there but that one is a bluetooth based instead of wi-fi based um, so i think they have a couple different variants here overall i like having them it gives me a little bit of peace of mind so hopefully this video uh, helped you if you have any questions or comments put them down in the comments on this video down below i do try to read the comments and respond to them if appropriate uh, so uh, check it out and thanks for watching.